Howdy, howdy. This is, of course, me, John Doe. And uh, due to the channel here getting a little bit more popular recently, a lot more people are reaching out to me, want to contact, interact with me, you know, which is great. I've really, you know, enjoyed that so far, and I hope that continues. I hope uh, more people view the videos I make and all that and, and generally interact with me, you know. But, um... A lot of people are curious, you know, that they want to get to know me, want to find out more about me, which is great, you know. So I thought I'd come out here today. It's a beautiful day here in Tokyo. You know, I'd come out, walk around, drink uh, some Chuhai. It's uh, kind of a um, really cheap kind of alcohol made from sake. But it's not, um, wouldn't call it sake, it's brewed different. It's kind of strange. Usually flavor is flavored. There's some lemon or lime, you know. So cheers to all comrades and friends and lovers. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I'd make a video trying to talk about a person I almost never talk about. But these videos, which is me. Who am I, you know? So, to start out, I was born in um, a place called West Virginia. Now, don't be confused that because Virginia and West Virginia are two different states, and often people from Virginia and West Virginia can get really sensitive if you confuse the two. So just remember, I'm from West Virginia, which is more in the Appalachian Mountain area. West Virginia, especially the part I was born and raised in, the southern part, is very working class, very rural. Uh, a lot of villages and towns, no, no cities, not a lot of money. Most people, you know, I grew up in a backwater, very working class, not a lot of money. That's a little bit about my background, but I, I had a pretty good upbringing, you know. Really enjoyed it. Things like fishing, hunting, camping, hanging out, you know, by some abandoned pool, you know, with your friends, drinking cheap beer, raising a bit of hell when you can, in general, enjoying life, you know. But I was lucky enough through some opportunities because they called me at risk when I was in high school in a first generation, which means first person in your, in your immediate nuclear family, to have the opportunity to go to college. I got a lot of help through grants and things. And I was able to get some formal education on a collegiate level. I studied journalism in college. So that's kind of my academic background. And as you know, these days I live in Tokyo. Now, how I ended up in Tokyo over six years now, a little complex, you know, but basically, I um, had kind of had enough of America, the direction that country's going in, you know, and the general culture just had enough, and nothing was really going on for me, you know, um, struggling, you know, to keep enough money in your pocket and pay your bills and all that, and so I had an opportunity, you know, to get out in the world, you know, live internationally and really expand my mind and knowledge of things. And I had a personal uh, love interest here, which I'd met in America years before when I was 19. And we maintained this relationship. So there was opportunities there, you know, I could go live in Asia and be with the person that I love. So, and live a life less ordinary. So I did that and it's worked out. I actually have a lot of love for Japan, although sometimes I'll get accused of being like a Japan hater. Not really. I have a lot of love and respect for Japan and the culture here and the people. I think that's why I'm very critical. Because I see the way people here are used and controlled and abused and socially alienated. It really frustrates me because the average Japanese person are usually very sweet, gentle, wonderful people. We got our assholes, you know, just like anybody else, you know, but in general, you know, these people deserve better. We all deserve better. So, you know, I think that's where a lot of people confuse me. I think I'm a Japan hater. No way. Not at all. If I really hated Japan, I, I wouldn't live here. Think about that one. Okay? I would try to go somewhere else. But on that note, you know, we'll move forward to a few of the things. Um, people often ask me what are my personal interests a lot of times. And they ask me, do I like anime? Because I live in 
Tokyo. Truth be told, I live by train about 15 minutes from the center of all of that stuff, like anime, action figures, video games, in a place called uh, Akihabara. Now, I don't live in Akihabara. I live like 15 minutes by train from it. But to be honest, I'm not really into it. Not really. I think it's interesting to go down there and wander around sometimes. But as far as actually being into it, I, I don't really know a lot about animation in Japan. Uh, mangas, I don't really know a lot about. Uh, the cosplay stuff is interesting, though. Real interesting. If you go down to Akihabara, as we call it here in Tokyo, Akiba, you'll see the maid cafes, right? It's where you go to, like, kind of be pampered. It's kind of weird, personally, for me. But you'll see the maids on the streets, like, dressed up, and he's, like, really wild maid costume, trying to get you to go in there. It's all an objectification of women, so it kind of irks me a little bit, but it's just not really my thing. You know, um, so there's that, you know, so I'm not really into that. Music, now I do like music, uh, several different types, uh, really into punk, I like heavy metal, uh, outlaw country, which is different from pop country, a good example of outlaw country would be a Hank Williams III, I really suggest checking him out, you'll like it, even if you don't like country music, you'll like this, he was in a band with uh, Phil Asimo from uh, Pantera fame at one time, he Super Joint Ritual, Hank III was a bass player, so... And he has a side band called Ass Jack, which is real interesting. It's a combination of um, country music and heavy metal. Check it out. Go on YouTube, look up a video. The song Hail Billy, personal favorite of mine. So that's kind of what I'm into musically. Other things, you know, yeah, I'm a bit of a drinker. That's true. You know, you can see. I like going out when I can and can afford it, which is not as much as in the past. You know, I used to go out a lot, but... You know, recently money's been uh, not so good. So, I buy, you know, I buy a lot of cheap beer these days. But I don't go out because in Japan, people don't have house parties so much. That's something like foreigners or expats do. If one of us are lucky enough to have a place big enough for that. Because a lot of Japanese uh, apartments and Japanese homes are uh, quite small. So, usually people go out somewhere. Usually to a, like an izakaya, which is a Japanese style bar. It's like you sit down, you eat food and you drink and you talk. Or like maybe a yakiniku place, which is a like Korean barbecue. Where you cook the meat on you, eat it and you drink. Um, but I've been a bit lucky, you know, since I'm kind of an adventurous, outgoing person, you know. It's easy for me to find a street corner somewhere, you know, like I am now. I have a drink, I, you know. Because in Japan, there's no rules on drinking at all. Which a lot of Americans, you know, would be surprised by. You can buy alcohol 24-7, and you can drink it pretty much anytime, anywhere you want. Like drinking on the street is no problem at all. Um, it's a slightly impolite to drink on a train, but as long as you're cool about it, you don't make a lot of noise, and you're not being loud and ignorant, you can get away with it, because I do, a lot. You know. Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of a drinker. I'm a smoker, too. I like smoking cigarettes. Um, I know a lot of you will give me shit for that, you know, but don't. Just don't. Don't bring that useless. It'll go around and around a circle and you never, okay? Just let that one go. Yeah. Save that for your liberal friends. See, so yeah, just a little bit about me, you know, a few things. You know, there's probably lots of things, other things you want to know about, which I'm not touching on, because so I, I don't want this video to go on too long. And, you know, before we uh, cut this short, I do want to show you something kind of cool. It's cherry blossom season here in Japan, right? So, everywhere in the city and across the country, we have these beautiful cherry blossom trees, right? They're all in bloom. So, I want to finish up this video by showing you a little bit of it, okay? Now, here's this main street I'm on, kind of a main street. I'll stop for a minute and I'll show you this. It's beautiful. Now, this time of year, a lot of people go to the parks and party on the cherry blossom trees. But I'm not in a park right now, you know. But check this out, man. You guys will like this. Look here. Look at that. Right? It goes all the way down there. And it's really beautiful, you know. This video won't really do it justice, you know. So there's that, right? 
that's one of my uh, favorite things, you know, here in Japan. It's all a jury box. I hope you can see it. Okay, so so that's that, right? We'll go ahead and finish this video up. If you're like, if you're a new subscriber, thanks a lot. People have been with me for several years. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Till next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Check it out.